A few miles north of Elsie, Michigan in Shiawassee County is a brand new hog facility, part of Washburn Farms, LLC. Brian and Michelle Washburn opened the doors to their yet populated barns on September 10th to allow their neighbors to get a first-hand look at their state-of-the-art buildings where they will contract to feed and finish 5,000 head of hogs at a time. The barns are fantastic. They are completely automated. So that means that um, all of these um, barns are give the pigs these optimal um, living conditions and the temperature is climate controlled. So there's not a big fluctuation of um, temperature for the pigs. They, it basically stays the same temperature, which is pretty cool in the summer. Um, and the cool thing about this barn is that we, you, you come in every day to make sure that the pigs are healthy and safe, and, but that everything can be controlled on your phone. So if you see that the waterers aren't working right or something's plugged, you can come and fix it. It alerts you on your phone, which is so awesome. Larry Reed owns Maximum Ag Technologies in Jenison, Michigan. He's responsible for integrating the control system that will run all aspects of the facility. Internet ready, the system can be accessed remotely anywhere in the world. So the controller is uh, uh, self-diagnostic. So we monitor all the amps for all the motors, for your feed systems, for your ventilation fans, and so on, uh, your pumps, uh, anything that a motor runs that we're connected to, we monitor the amp load and also detect heat of the relay. So the controller protects itself. If any wires or anything should get loose in the controller and create heat, it would automatically shut that part of the system down and send you an alarm telling you what that alarm is. The biggest thing that I tell people with the controller is number one, that you can monitor everything remotely. So if you want to uh, make a change uh, on a setting in the controller, or open an inlet, turn a fan, or whatever, you can do that from anywhere. I've had people call me and say they have an issue. I'm four states away. I can get out my cell phone, bring up their barn, and change their ventilation system to the way that it should be. Brian and Michelle farm 3,500 acres of corn, soybeans, and wheat in a 50-50 partnership with Brian's uncle. They'll utilize all the nutrients from the hogs on that acreage, injecting it into the ground, eliminating the chance for runoff. Meat verified in cropping systems, they're working hard toward the same for livestock. The government regulations are so strict on where you can put the barn, and that was um, one thing that we really struggled with on was placement of the barn. We have a lot of acres to choose from, but to make sure that the odor wasn't affecting our neighbors and to make sure that the land was right to set it on so the water table wasn't too high so you didn't have to worry about manure runoff and all of those things that come into, um, you know, to come into factor where you put a barn is, um, it's really hard to pick a spot that is ideal for all of those conditions. And so um, that, that takes a long time and there has to be soil testing done and all of these things that take quite a long time to do. The, the permitting takes months and months and months and all of those things are for everyone's safety. The new hog barns will soon be filled for the first time and Brian and Michelle are eager to prove they'll be responsible proprietors raising safe and affordable food.